Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. This year at CitizenCon on Stage 1, we had a rundown with the Lore and Xeno Linguistics team. Here's what you need to know in 3 minutes and 39 seconds. Xeno Linguistics is the study of languages of extraterrestrial beings. The majority of the population of our planet considers this to be a hypothetical study, as none have actually been encountered to date. So in our context, it's understanding how languages in general behave that allows the staff to realize a fully functional and unique sentence structure, vocabulary, and character sets. CIG has on payroll, Brighton Watkins, who is the Xenolinguist, and Chris Harrow, who designs the fonts and characters. Cherry Heiberg, as part of the lore team, also works very closely with these aspects of the development. Last year, we were shown the work that was done on the Xeon language. My mind was literally blown away with the attention to detail to include the entire backstory as to how the characters came to be. As we saw before, it's much more involved. To make a language for Star Citizen, the entire lore, mannerisms, history, and the context are critical for understanding how and why things are the way they are. This process can be faked, however, in Star Citizen, nothing is faked. There are 1,440 words with the phonetics within the Xi'an language, plus the font has recently been updated. This update has since been published to the RSI website. I'll be honest and forthcoming. I watched this panel twice. I found it to be an impressive achievement and it's obvious that all the effort will be the foundation for the rest of the development. The Rust Society within Lore are a group of blue collar workers who publish a guide that we can use. They went on for about 20 minutes about the supporting lore because you can't have language without culture and it became apparent that there's now a deep defined understanding of the Banu. The Banu love luxury and appreciate functionality. The Banu are driven, savvy, respectful and polite. Their subgroups are known as Suli, not necessarily a family group or a work group, but not limited to either. They don't have the word sorry in their vocabulary, they love salvage, tinkering, and repairing. If they come across a better part, they'll use it. The Banu don't use minutes and hours, they operate within beats. Banu will retire as they get older to prevent work slowdowns. Banu are genderless and they only require one hour of sleep per day. They can tolerate an atmosphere that a human would consider poisonous and can tolerate food that we simply can't eat. Barter and haggling are critical in commerce. Banu can basically be sold or sell themselves to a Suli if they have debt, similar to how we might see a slave and slave master arrangement. Their language is based on a soft sounding flow, which will make it very easy to differentiate from Xi'an or Vandul. The Banu don't discuss the distant past or the distant future, so their language lacks the words to express those concepts and written blocks of text are center justified. So without trying to sound rude about their massive effort and achievement this year, after watching the remainder of the panel in great detail, I'd like to summarize the rest of the panel this way. If you're one of those that are interested in the deeper lore and languages being built for Star Citizen, I might assume that you have or will watch the entire panel that I have linked up for you right now in the description. If you're like me, you're likely going to be happy that all the effort is greatly going to expand the depth and immersion of our universe. Much like a spoiler, I feel for myself that I'd rather experience alien nature in our game for the first time when I see it. I'm sure that this will be a truly fantastic experience, and I'm sure that over the course of dealing with the alien races in Star Citizen, that I'm going to quickly learn a basic functioning understanding of their language and traditions. I can't ever see myself actually investing the time to learn this language, but if you do, I think it's fantastic that it exists for those who want that. And there you go. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. This is a community supported channel that operates advertisement free. If you want and you're able to, please consider supporting with the links on the main page. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.